I'd like to talk about a uh, subject very close to my heart, something I want to promote. About three years ago, I was in a bit of a quandary. I, uh, I had quite a bit of cash because I was earning quite a lot, and I thought I should give it to a charity. Which charity should I give to? And I decided I wanted to give to a charity, you know, that would give to people that needed the most. So I sponsored a child. You know about this, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. His name's Emmanuel Zomba. Here's Emmanuel Aww. in Malawi. That's Emmanuel with his mother and sister. And what I what I like about Emmanuel is you can clearly tell he's a, he's a child. Yes, definitely. So often you hear these stories about <laughs> charities trying to pass off thirty year olds as children. <laughs> no, no, no. So he's... often. Well, I, well, I've never heard of that. I... Don't imply that's a story that's always around. <laughs> Emmanuel sends these uh, really nice letters. I'll read one now. Dear Mr. Fothergill, I'm very thankful for choosing me as your sponsored child. I did no such thing. <laughs> Selected by the charity, I must confess, Emmanuel, I'm sorry if you ever... He won't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Standard 3, and I like driving toy cars made of wires, football, bathing my sister, and reading books. I also go to church. My favourite food is mealy meal. Meat, a word I can't pronounce. Vegetables, <laughs> rice, and pumpkins. We are near a big mountain called something, where <laughs> different animals are found. <laughs> this is the bit that really creeps me out. <laughs> I will be very happy if you come to see this mountain. And me. <laughs> Steady on, Emmanuel! This was the first letter he sent! And he's suggesting I travel halfway around the world, world to visit him. We, we've met people that we've only known online once or twice. And yeah. We struggle to think of anything to say to them. <laughs> sort of, hey, hey, um, how are you? Not too bad. How's the journey here? Good. You? Yeah, fine. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> it was literally like that, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Emmanuel's suggesting I go, <laughs> I go oh to another God. continent. He doesn't speak English. He's, he's 12 years younger than me. <laughs> I haven't written to Emmanuel for a while. Uh... And I should have done, but like obviously my situation changed from what in the past three years. It's, it's difficult to know what to say. You know, I, I can't say things like "Dear Emmanuel, I hope things are okay in Malawi." It's been very difficult here in the yeah. UK. We've had a double dip recession. <laughs> the prices of petrol have soared. Because <laughs> if I were Emmanuel, I would write back saying, "Dear Mr. Fothergill, boo hoo hoo." <laughs> I'm so sorry you There's have There's a to... massive drought here and we have no crops, but oh dear, the price of petrol's gone. I'm sorry you have to pay 114.9 <laughs> pence for your petrol. Oh man, to think, oh, I'm glad I don't have to do that. I just have to walk 45 minutes to get a cup of water. I'm so glad I'm not in your position. Oh, I should be sponsoring you, really. Here, I've sent you a toy car made of wire. <laughs> it's one of my favourites, but clearly. <laughs> You need it more than I do. Let's hope this child has mastered the art of sci fi in the British <laughs> language. I give to UNICEF. Do you? Yeah. I have a standing order with them. I had no, I had no idea. Yep. What is it about UNICEF that you support? Basically, they were the first company to ever cold call me. And I couldn't get them off the phone. <laughs> Though, UNICEF did come in handy because um, I got a UNICEF guy to stop me in the street and I was able to go. Actually, I already give to UNICEF. Uh, he was like, oh, thank you very much. But then he went, this is really weird. He went, oh, I've just borrowed a minute of your time. Do you want to borrow a minute of mine? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, oh, do you want to just tell me about your day? But I was like, how lonely would you be? It was always already giving to the charity. It was so different from a conversation. He just wanted to, you want me to tell you about my day. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Did he ask you out? <laughs> <laughs> no. I think that's what he was gunning for, to be honest. He was one of those zany ones that sort of dances. <laughs> like, hey, can I just stop you for a minute? One of the best things about um, sponsoring a child is, unlike your UNICEF thing, wh what does UNICEF do again? Something <laughs> <laughs> good. Something <laughs> good. Well, let's say they help people with only one arm. <laughs> There are always going to be people with one arm. So you're basically committed for life. <laughs> yeah. Or until they develop some sort of cure for one armedness. <laughs> Emmanuel is turning 18 <laughs> on the 23rd of March 2016. <laughs> 
And then and you as can soon as that happens. happens. You're gonna make a wonderful parent. <laughs>